Hello, my name is Kareen Martin. I am a licensed acupuncturist, esthetician, massage therapist, and an energy medicine woman. I am from, my descendants are from the Potawatomi Nation, and I have been an energy worker and an intuitive and an empath since I was a little girl. So today, as an SRT practitioner of 20 years plus, I wanna to talk to you about a few blocks, and we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're gonna clear eight blocks right now. And all I love you to do when you're working with me, anytime you feel like you wanna take a breath in, take it way down below the umbilicus or the belly button, hold it. And when you choose to release and let go, make sure it's a twice as long to release, okay? You can listen to this video as often as you like. And we're gonna do this today on blocks to giving, prosperity, receiving, Blocks to being in the flow, blocks to all the good things in life, blocks to love, blocks to joy, and blocks to happiness. So let's get started. I'm going to use my little dowsing tool, and I'll let you know when we hit 100%. I may say take a breath in. As you take that breath in, hold one, two, three, four, five, and then a really slow, long exhale. You can either be sitting up, you can keep your eyes open, you can keep them closed, it makes no difference. So the first thing I've already um, went through and, and identified what I want to clear for you and my readers, so blocks to giving. A lot of times it's easy for all of us to give. and some, But to be in the flow, we also have to be willing to receive. We have to give from love, not expecting anything back from anyone. So a lot of times these things that we're gonna clear have been genetically encoded into you from, from your ancestors, your mothers, your fathers, your grandmothers, your grandfathers, and a lot of times they're mostly beliefs, okay? So let's go ahead and set our intention that whether it's a belief, a perception, a judgment, a thought process, maybe you've been hurt a lot, maybe people take a lot from you, let's, let's set the intention that we let go of these energies, and belief systems that cause us disharmony in our life, okay? We want to be in the flow, whether it's love, joy, happiness, having abundance of happiness and joy and financial stability, we all want it and we all deserve it. So let's go in and clear, not only for us, but for our ancestors, our mothers, our fathers, if we have brothers and sisters, if we have aunts and uncles, if we have children, let's set the intention that we're genetically clearing this for our tribe. And as you know, we pretty much all belong to the same family. So set your intention. Take a breath in. Take another breath in. Let's do one more. Take one more breath. So with this, we're going to clear blocks to giving. I'm gonna ask that any blocks we have that are mental, emotional, physical, or psychological, whether they're in this lifetime, past lifetime, parallel universes, any layers, levels we're aware of or unaware of, whether it's hidden, buried, and covered up, let's clear these blocks to giving and blocks to abundance. Please take a breath. Doesn't matter if they're kind words that we accept, monetary gifts, food gifts, clothing gifts, we all need to be in the flow of abundance. So let's go in and clear on a soul level any blocks to giving and all blocks to abundance. Go ahead and take a breath in and release any beliefs, perceptions, and judgments that keep you stuck, unabundant, and happy. Take another breath in, please. Hold, and as you let go, let go of any feelings, any emotions, any thoughts that keep you stagnant or stuck. As you take that next breath in, breathe in love. Hold it way down to the umbilical area and our reproductive area. And as you exhale, exhale forgiveness and also letting go of things, thoughts, feelings, and emotions that don't support you any longer. And then give gratitude to your High Self Committee members, your angels and guides who are working with you. We work in the light, we are of the light. It makes no difference what your nationality is, what your religious beliefs are, what your political beliefs are. But what I wanna do is clear blocks to receiving, having, giving, loving. 
Take one more breath in. Give permission to your body, to your mind, your spirit, and soul to release. Thank you. Let's clear blocks to prosperity. And that could um, be love of life loving life, appreciating life, loving our job, loving our neighbor, loving our family members. Let's go in and clear these blocks because if we're going to have prosperity, we need it in all areas of our life, educationally, family, business, personal, everything that you come in contact with, you should feel prosperous. If you're feeling empty and down, let's make that shift now. Get a little snap. Take a breath in. And let go. I'm going to ask all blocks to prosperity and all blocks to life, loving life, being supported by life. Be acknowledged, released, and cleared. Just do your breathing in. Hold and exhale, and I'll let you know when we're at 100%. I'm going to ask things we're aware of, things we're unaware of. Please bring them to each soul that's listening. Check all the emotional baggage they have. Let's let go of a lot of that. Take another breath in, hold, and as you exhale, trust that you're clearing these blocks, all layers, levels, and lifetimes. Thank you. Do one more breath in, hold, and release. Great. Now I want to clear blocks to receiving. Whether you need to ask someone for a ride or for a favor or for some help, I want to clear the belief that you can't ask people to help you. That is not true. To be in the flow of happiness and joy and receiving, it's okay to ask people for help. But it, there's a difference if you're taking advantage of people. Maybe you say, oh, I couldn't do that. I've never done it. And I, say, and I say today, let's stop. Let's give people an opportunity to keep the flow of goodness, generosity, help, kindness flowing. When we think of blocks to receiving, Sometimes it's blocks to love of self. Maybe we learn from our mom and dad we're not supposed to ask for help. But I'm here to tell you today, I want you to start asking for help. Whether it's just through kind words, through generous um, offerings. You know, if you're the type of person that always gives and gives and gives, it might be hard for you to receive. So I'm going to just tell your soul, stop. You deserve kindness. You deserve love. We're going to shift it today. So take a deep breath. I'm going to ask guides, angels, high self committee members, clear all blocks to receiving, clear all blocks to love of self, love of life, love of God, love of man, love of woman. Take a breath in, hold, and release. When it's 100% clear, I'll let you know. Just keep that natural breathing going. I don't want you to hyperventilate. I just want you to really breathe down to your umbilicus or belly button. Hold three, four, five, and release. We're still, a spirit still clearing. So let's give them, they research and clear. Okay, so great. They're telling me it's 100%. So I'd love you to just take another breath in. Hold and set your intention when you exhale. You're letting go of any thoughts, feelings, emotions, beliefs, perceptions, and judgments on receiving. Loving yourself. Good. Now we're going to clear blocks to flow, being in the flow. So being in the flow just means you have an abundance of friends, abundance of support, abundance of love, abundance of financial stability. And um, let's clear also with that blocks to optimism, to being optimistic. Maybe we don't think we deserve it, or maybe people told us we don't, but I'm here to remind your soul, to awaken your soul and say that's not true. We all deserve to be in the flow, the flow of love, the flow of gentleness, the flow of happiness, the flow of love of self. So let's go in and clear anything we may have genetically got encoded to us from our mothers and our fathers, their mothers and fathers, and our ancestors. Let's go ahead and take a breath in, asking our guides, our angels, high self co committee members to find any blocks to flow, all layers, levels, and lifetimes. 
clearing all blocks to being an to being optimistic. And I'll let you know when it's 100% clear. Until then, just keep trusting and setting the intention that you want to be in the flow. You want to bring balance to your life, to your heart, to your mind, to your soul. Ask that all your chakras be brought into balance. Ask that your lungs, your large intestine, your stomach, your spleen, your heart, your small intestine, your bladder, your kidney, your sanjiao, your triple warmer, your liver and gallbladder, all yin and yang organs to flow, be in the flow, removing all stagnation. All glands, bring them to balance, raising their vibration if necessary. Thank you. Okay, take one more breath, clearing all blocks to being optimistic and all blocks to being in the flow. Thank you. Let's clear blocks to love. Now there's all kinds of love. Love of self, love of God, love of man, love of woman, love of life. Just love in general. Just let's clear that energy. Let's clear maybe any heartache, any sadness and grief we may have experienced in this lifetime. Let's ask our guides and angels to take away any anger, any resentment, any heartache, any shame, any toxic pain. Take a breath in and let's clear blocks to being grateful. Sometimes we don't tell the universe or ourselves every day, like, oh my God, that tree is so beautiful. Look at the color of the green. Oh, look at the bark on that tree. Oh, look how beautiful the clouds are. Take a breath in, hold, release. Let's clear our eyes to see beauty. Let's clear our heart, open our heart chakra to see beauty. Let's open our lungs and ask that all the pain, the suffering and sadness that we've endured and we've held on to, let's allow it to leave. Let your guides and angels take care of that. Oh, one more time, let's take a breath in. Let's clear our lung energy of any pain and suffering that we, we elected to keep any self-punishment programs, self-destruction programs, maybe we inherited them. Let's go ahead and surrender them now through our breath. And then I have a little bit of throat chakra stuff going. Let's clear blocks to communicating, removing, releasing any and all etherical cords. Let's clear them for our eye chakras and ask that we see life through the eyes of beauty, through the eyes of greatness, through the eyes of goodness. Take another breath. Let me. I'll let you know when our blocks to love, love of self, love of God, love of man, love of woman, love of life are cleared. Wonderful. Now we're going to clear blocks to joy. Please take another breath in. Take it all the way down to your toes if you can too. And hold one, two, three, four. And make sure that long, slow exhale gives our guides, our angels, our body permission to let go of any residue we're hanging on to. Just surrender it. Any toxic streams, toxic shames, we're just going to let it go. We don't need this in our life anymore. It's not necessary. There's no more need for self-punishment, self-destruction, lack. We're going to let it all go. Now we're going to clear blocks to joy. Sometimes we have self-punishment programs running, but a lot of times they may not be just ours. They could be our ancestors. Um, they've experienced a lot of trauma, a lot of heartache, a lot of loss, a lot of grief. And sometimes we come into this lifetime feeling very strong and saying, we're gonna go ahead and take that on. Well, we realize in life at a young age, sometimes this earth plane just hits us with too much. So don't feel bad. Let's go in and clear blocks to joy right now. If we took on heart vows or soul contracts, for our mothers, our fathers, their mothers and fathers, maybe our tribe. Let's go ahead and surrender those now. Take a breath in. As you take that breath in and you hold, when we exhale, we're going to ask all vows, contracts, be complete, null and void. Take another breath in. Hold. And when you exhale, just surrender things you're aware of, unaware of, things hidden, buried, and covered up. I hope you'll
your body is feeling more relaxed. Good. And all self-punishment, good. We're clear there. The last one we're going to do is blocks to happiness. Uh, sometimes we have energy of doom running. I want to ask that whatever's running be acknowledged, released, and cleared. Words are just energy. Feelings are just energies. So what we're trying to do is shift your energy when you're having a rough day. Come back and listen to this and just clear it again. Let's clear blocks to happiness. If you're having difficulty with happiness, think about did your mom or dad have difficulty with happiness? Do your brothers or sisters, aunts or uncles, best friends? Go ahead and take a breath in and clear for them as well. Take a breath deep to your toes, hold, and a long, slow exhale. Clearing all programs of doom, self-limitation, self-destruction. We don't need it anymore. It's not necessary. Pain, suffering, and sadness is not what we want to hang on to. So let's clear it, release it, and remove it. Take another breath in. Hold, and I'll let you know when it's clear. Source says we're clear. So as I just um, take my dowsing tool, I'm just going to ask for a body scan. Anything from top to bottom, left to right, inside out, yin to yang, yang to yin. Please research and clear any residues, any beliefs, perceptions, and judgments that keep a soul stuck or trapped. Clear it. Check from alpha to omega. Releasing, letting go, and transforming the way they think, the way they feel, the way they live, the way they love, the way they eat, the way they smile. Thank you. Sometimes we have odds and ends stuck in our conscious and subconscious mind. Let's ask that they be researched right now. Things we're aware of and unaware of, hidden, buried, covered up. Go ahead and find those odds and ends now and release them. Take another breath in. Thank you. As this video finishes, you can still stick with it. Just take a breath in, hold and release. Trust that you are deserving of love. You are deserving of happiness. You are deserving of joy. And we have a right to create the life we want. Let's put aside all challenges and themes and issues that's caused us some difficulty. Let's do that now. Take a breath in. another breath in. Let's give gratitude to our angels, to our guide, to our high self committee members. Let's make sure we work in the light, that our guides and angels are of the light of the highest vibration of universal knowledge. 